Okay guys, so a short video on how to update your Foxconn Blood Rage or Blood Rage uh, GDI BIOS. So the uh, update procedure is a little bit tricky on this board model or these board models because there's no uh, uh, update BIOS update feature uh, inside the BIOS itself. So you have to update the BIOS of the motherboard using uh, an external uh, bootable device like a USB stick and boot into a DOS environment and uh, flash the BIOS in it. So uh, what we have here is we have a PC Express modified blood rates, so the full uh, model, so not the GDI. GDI is the stripped down version of the full uh, blood rage and uh, just one single uh, DDR3 stick, uh, a 950 CPU in the, on the board and uh, just the hard drive or SSD plugged in. And one thing of note, if you have made the PCI Express modification on the board, not every uh, graphics card will post with that board anymore. So the, the graphics card that I have been using uh, all the time uh, with old platforms refuses to post now with this board. So the NVIDIA 6500GD, it refuses to post on this board no matter which PCI Express slot I try. So there's no uh, debug code coming in to the, the debug code uh, monitoring thingy. So uh, it just refuses to post. So just try to find a graphics card that works with the modified board. So I'm now, now I'm using this NVIDIA uh, 6500GD and it, well it's already quite good oh well it's good enough for any uh, like old 2D like SuperPi and so on so it's not too large graphics card and we have a USB stick plugged at the rear I.O. and the things you need I'm using the camera right now to film this so not a capture card so if, when we look at the CPU-Z we can see we have uh, the newest or the latest bars for the blood rate so this is uh, 6.00 PG but the real model is P11 so it's the latest BIOS for the blood rates that was ever released and I will try to uh, flash the P10 so you have to prepare the uh, so you have to prepare the stick itself with something like Rufus Rufus is really very very easy so just use Rufus like an empty drive select uh, MS-DOS and just uh, Prepare the USB stick with Rufus so it has the uh, DOS, the required DOS files and uh, boot sector things so that you can actually boot the drive. And then you need the BIOS file itself, which is over here. So this is 8A1F1P10. So P10 is the version of the BIOS. So P10. Then you need AW flash. And then you need. Uh, uh, the bat file for some reason it's uh, not showing here at the moment but you need you need a bat file which is included with the uh, which is included with the bars file it for some reason it always like disappears so can we actually see it folder option we yeah we have show hidden files and folders for but but for some reason it always hides so it's a, a bat file to execute the aw flash the aw flash is the program that flashes the bars in the dos environment so just have all of them uh, in uh, the same usb stick after it's prepared and just check the bat file by right clicking and edit that it has the correct version selected so if we want to flash p10 the model number or the file name must match the BIOS file so if there was P11 it wouldn't find the correct file we want to flash so just double check that and that's pretty much it so now we just reboot the system so turn off computer and reboot or restart but this is yeah this is definitely a, a bit annoying so uh, a bit same as on the EVGA board so it's very annoying when you cannot flash the BIOS like normally inside the BIOS so it feels just so retro because some other board models like the Rampage Extreme you can easily flash the BIOS inside the BIOS itself so we now we go to the HDD boot priority and we select 
the Kingston Data Traveler as first option. And we can use the board information to read. So we are on, on the blood rage when you do a CMOS clear, it often tends to uh, load the boot from number two first, even though you have selected boot uh, bars from you have selected bars from one with the jumpers. It always tends to post with the bars number two, and you can select the bars in the quantum bars section and OC gear. You can select with uh, select which bars is being loaded, but we want to flash the bars number one. So uh, we can see it's P11. And now we just F10, F10 and exit. We can actually check the jumpers first. So here on the board itself, we can see there are four options for the bar select. So uh, the first one is, if you have in the first slot, like I have over here, the first one is force bars ROM 1. The second option is force bars ROM 2. Then uh, third option is uh, boot mode select with first bars ROM uh, prioritized. And the fourth option is uh, the same thing. So boot mode select, but it prefers bars number two. So I, I would personally, I would personally prefer to use the boot, or I mean to use the force either of the bars option. So now I just want to force bias from number one or the first bias or the first bias chip. So let's save and exit. And now it will post loop. And this is how it looks like when it actually uh, flashes the bars. So we can see, please wait, blinking. And then it will uh, go through the bars file. So we can see that the correct bars name is there. So P10, the bin. It gives a funny uh, beep sound many times during the flashing proce uh, procedure. But this is pretty much it anyway, so once you have all, all the things set up, it's actually quite simple to flash the bars, but it's just annoying with some of these old boards that you cannot flash the bars inside the bars, so there's no uh, a bars flash uh, feature existing uh, already in, inside the bars. And now we can see it's completed. Flashing complete, Bless, press F1 to continue. And now let's check if we have the correct bars version inside the bars. Uh huh. Board information P10. So yeah, I did complete. So this is from uh, 23rd of February 2010. P10. But yeah, so that's how you do it, so relatively easy to set up, but I recommend you use Rufus to prepare your USB stick, at least it feels to be the easiest program to do that, and then just move the files, the bus file itself, the awflash.exe, and the auto-executable uh, BAP file that controls the uh, uh, AWD flash program, but yeah, so Use this video as a guide if you have one of these boards to flash your bars and other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.